and there we go all right so uh to reiterate uh some of you may have already heard this but uh this clinic is going to look a little bit different today uh we're first going to go over some uh technical tricks for playing navy just you know technical fundamental things that are good to know and then we're going to uh just you know play a few games as usual i will say though uh i will preface everything i'm i'm saying here that i cannot give you the best naval strategy there is if i had one i would be using it i i have i have no clue what's the best thing to do what i want what we uh with Dimitri want to uh, do in this one is sort of give you a basic set of fundamentals and overview so you can build on top of that and you know find strategies you actually like as ones that work for you. All right, so let's go over some unit uh, details. So I wanted to give you a basic uh, overview of the interactions of uh, tier one units and by the way if you ever have questions uh, feel free to you know hit up whatever uh okay so in the past the uh, you know navy used to come down to this right to just dolphins 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 everywhere R right now uh due to some recent uh changes such as this uh, Dolphin Costner, uh, some buffs to supporters, etc. Et uh, this is dolphins are still strong, but there's a lot more variety in the sea right now. Okay, so let's start with some basic uh, threat stuff. So basically, uh, the dolphin, right? So the dolphin is this fast uh, harassing unit right it's a good flanker but uh okay let me actually just uh, turn this on uh when you when you're using the dolphin you have to remember that it has to uh face a uh, broadside to the enemy uh see this one this one can only fire using using its uh frontal turret this one uh, collides with the frontal one, so it can't actually use this one at the back. Uh, this one is well positioned. So this is basically how you have to always use uh, dolphins, right? From the broadside. Uh, I actually thought that was the case also with frigates, but turns out, well, dep depending on what, what they're firing at, they can actually uh, fire directly to the front. Uh, see, both of these turns are firing. Uh, the same thing applies to the supporter, the Cortex sort of dolphin uh, analog. Uh, see, these two can fire uh, quite well, but, but this one here in the back is colliding with the one on the front. Right. Uh, okay. So the dolphin is sort of the basic unit of Armada, but it has a fairly large weakness. It's line of sight. If you look at uh, the unit card here, it has a range of 280, but it only has a line of sight of 375. This means that, and by the way, there's a line of supporters right here. As you can see, uh, this one can't actually see uh, uh, far at all, while uh, this one is supported by this uh, skater boat. So that gives it the vision sort of needs to... Uh... So the dolphin is the second fa fastest, fastest thing on the sea, right? So this allows it to pick and choose battles. But to really do that, it really needs either a radar coverage, right? Or a skater mixed in, just to give it that uh, line of sight. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the uh, supporter for, from Cortex, 
does not have the same issue. Uh, it has a fa fairly large line of sight of 500. So these can actually see this dolphin without the need for this uh, herring support. Uh, right, what, what else is here? Okay, so uh, next up we have the submarine. So there's a, a couple tricks to the submarine, right? Um, so first up, the submarine has a sort of narrow firing arc. I am going to guess it's something like this. Let me show you. So it can shoot at this supporter, this supporter. Uh, let me actually speed this up a little because I don't want to. Because uh, I don't want to. Uh, okay, never mind. So it's gonna be able to fire at this supporter. Uh, this supporter perfectly fine, and there's going to be a supporter outside. That's weird. I must have changed the position a little. Let me just uh, put it closer to these. Oh, right. Yeah, that explains it. Yeah, see? Uh, it can't actually fire at this supporter. I think it's going to be able to fire at this one. There we go. But it can't actually fire like this. So you have to keep these uh, facing the enemy sort of from the front. Most naval units, ones that fly, uh, so, sorry, float on the surface, are perfectly fine to attack from, from the broadside. Not submarines. Submarines are the exception. Right. Um, there's also another pretty large issue with the submarine, is that torpedoes don't track their targets. These are essentially like rocket bots. Uh, this does a bit of prediction, sure, but okay, let me actually take this. Um, okay, let's have this one focus on this. And with some practice, you can actually see, you can dodge shots from submarines. This, the same, by, by the way, applies to the tier one. Uh, uh where's the thing to the tier one uh this one to this let me actually oops um i guess okay i'm just gonna stop yeah see th this uh torpedo uh launcher also does not track and also can be dodged so the terrain See, I was able to dodge that uh, torpedo. And again, so in general, don't count on naval statics too much. They're not all that great. Okay. Uh, destroyers, on the other hand, which are sort of the artillery of the sea, these are also uh, equipped with depth charge launchers and these do in fact track see so you can't really dodge depth charge launchers you can only uh you know swim away or focus, focus this guy down uh other units equipped with these depth charge la uh sorry bombs are uh, cruisers and i believe uh, the tier 3 hovercraft All right. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Uh, one one more point on the submarine. The Cortex submarine is actually uh, quite a bit better than the uh, Armada submarine. To show that, I'll uh, there's a commander over here and over here, and let's just see that matchup in action. I hope I remembered to set uh, pilot wheel on these. Yeah, right now it's out of range. Uh, come on. Okay, might might not be the greatest test, but it should still work. The submarines had a little bit of a head start. 
just because they have a little longer range uh, than the commander's uh, line of sight range. C500 to 450. Uh, and the Armada sub lost, while the Cortex sub was actually able to take th this commander down. Right. So, in general, Cortex submarines are. Cortex ships in general are quite a bit stronger. Their disadvantage is that they can spam dolphins. Uh, okay, one more mechanic you really have to keep in mind for Navy is uh, the difference between radar and sonar. So, uh, here I have a tier 2 sonar, uh, and here we have a few uh, Cortex sh uh, ships patrolling. Uh, well, here, see, we have the T1 radar sonar building. And as soon as the submarines leave the sonar range, which is like here, they stop being shown on the map. See, so you need a uh, sonar. To be able to uh, shoot at um, submarines, that applies both to the uh, to you know normal combat submarines and the Green Reaper Resurrection sub. This thing, by the way, extremely important. This is actually one of your most important tools in the sea because everything here is quite a bit expensive, right? Almost 400 metal for a Armada Assault Frigate, almost 900 for a destroyer, that's a lot. Uh, so this really gives you a lot of build power uh, to keep those subs alive. Sorry, ships alive. Right. Uh, what else did I want to show you? So that's that, that's that, that's that. Yeah. I I think that's it, unless you have... Okay, yeah, one more thing I wanted to... Two more things, actually. Okay, so first up, the sort of... Uh... Oh yeah, the interactions between units. So, uh, dolphins and supporters are sort of the you know, fast har harass units. They let you get good flanking bonuses, they let you pick your fights but they have very short range. Uh, the next step up in range is the Assault Frigate, but it really doesn't have uh, good health at all, really. So you do need to use these as sort of uh, ranged units, right? You have to uh, kite and uh, take advantage of their range, higher line of sight, uh, descent speed. So as long as... The, so frigates actually be, beat uh, dolphins and supporters quite well, but you need to take advantage of their range and you need to sort of play defensively, right? You need to kite back uh, to beat those. Okay, neither of these can actually shoot uh, submarines, which means that the submarine is a good counter to these, Unless one of two things happen. Well, either they by bypass your sub your uh, submarine and just go kill you. That happens a lot. Uh, or they get uh, destroyers or their own submarines. So even a few submarines is a very good uh, tool to uh, you know force a destroyer uh, transition. And since those are expensive, once you do. You can then switch back into more fast units and uh, just go go kill them while they're uh, building this uh, destroyer shop. Navy is really a lot about uh, finding weaknesses in your opponents and taking advantage of those. And submarines are also the all submarines and destroyers are also the only thing that really lets you uh, harass 
uh, naval um, metal extractors because those are underwater. Uh, they're also pretty good Karasmas units in general. Okay, so uh, then we have the destroyer, which is uh, so there's a little bit of a factional difference between the two destroyers. The Armada one is sort of more of a skirmisher, think uh, a Sheldon or a Hound, while the Cortex one is started more like a he sort of heavy artillery. Let's compare. It has a tiny bit more, more range, uh, it has a little bit more burst damage than the Armada one. Uh, yeah, it does. But it has a bit of a, a longer reload time. See? Uh, two and a half seconds on the Cortex one to 1 1.6 on the uh, Armada one. I mean, these are fully uh, veteran units, so that might be influencing that. But you see the difference, right? Okay. And destroyers also have those depth chargers, which lets you uh, counter submarines quite well. And commanders, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, commanders cannot actually... Let me just show show you this. Uh, give on the comp. There we go. So the commander has its laser uh, underwater, but it cannot be gun. So it can only use this, you know, piddly laser. And if if you actually absolutely need to, it can self destruct. That's also a pretty pretty, pretty, pretty important for the tool. Uh, okay, and then we have the uh, the skater, which is sort of a support boat. It's really not that great at fighting and so It's the only anti-air you have. I mean dedicated anti-air you have as Armada on C1. But those two lasers really don't do all that much. Um, while the herring, I mean if you're not yet sick of the Whistler meta, make herring. Herrings are the whistlers of the sea. Pretty much, they're really, really similar to a uh, floating missile truck, essentially. These, both of these, also have pretty good line of sight, and they have sonar. Sonar is important again because it lets you see uh, commanders' submarines. Right. Uh, I think that's just about all I wanted to talk about for the basics. Um, yeah, uh, I guess there's one more thing I could show you. Oh, this is the guy I was supposed to... Oh, yeah, it's this guy. There we go. So, uh, seaplanes. One interesting thing about uh, seaplanes is that they can hide underwater. Invisible, unless you have a sonar. That's a really rarely used tool, but it can actually make uh, make the difference from time to time. All right, I think that's uh, enough for the fundamentals. Oh yeah, one more thing. So naval openings, right? Uh, we are actually going to cover uh, maps where you have, where you actually have to play uh, navy, just so everyone can actually, you know, practice it. Uh, and this is, I, I just realized, a very bad example because I have this infinite resources cheat building here. But a decent opening is, uh, you know, something like two maxes. Uh, depending on the distance, you, you can go for a, sec a second, uh, sorry, third max, uh, and then make uh, titles, or you could go for max, max, title, uh, max, title, title, and then a shipyard. Uh, shipyards actually have a little bit more build power than the usual land-based factories. Which one of these is the uh, tier one shipyard? There we go. 165 build power. So you don't actually need to assist 
it with a constructor right from the get-go. You should be planning to start doing that later on, but you can get away with uh, not assisting it for longer. I would still recommend a pretty quick uh, one constructor for grabbing metal and one constructor for uh, grabbing energy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think if I remember all... correctly, naval constructors are pretty good on build power as well. Uh, yeah, so they you have need fewer of them in general. Build power. Oh yeah, there's one more thing <laughs> I wanted to uh, discuss. These guys. The tier 2 naval engineers. These are underused, but if you uh, compare their stats with uh, construction turrets, you'll see that they're actually more metal efficient than uh, naval construction turrets. So these are pretty good. And they also let you actually build ships on the front lines. And most interestingly, the Armada one, there is one more trick I uh, just barely managed to remember in a sec. The Armada one actually lets you also make platypi. Uh, I guess. Uh, so that's a pretty clever tool for uh, mounting an amphibious assault. Like once you've won your uh, naval lane uh, uh, on the sea, you can ma uh, make uh, these guys without making a tier 2 armada bot lab. The Cortex one doesn't have access to darks because that would be overpowered. Uh, speaking of platypus. It, ca it is immune to torpedoes since it technically acts like a hovercraft. Yes. Um, yeah. And it has some uh, built-in AA as well. Yep, that it does. While the duck uh, swims, maybe it even walks on the seafloor, and it has torpedoes. It's a pretty good unit. OK, and there's actually one more one thing I want to, sh to show you. So we have here. A submarine against two, uh, a submarine and a destroyer, right? Let's just let me just set these to fire on the submarine. So this is so this is fun. Uh, naval walls, once you can make with your T1 constructor, actually intercept these projectiles. But they don't uh, intercept yours. It's I'm not entirely sure why that that's the case. But yeah, if let me just remake those. For me, it looks if like I, the charges are intercepted, not torpedoes. Uh, no, both both are uh, intercepted. It's just because the walls got broken that the torpedoes got through. Sorry, come again. It's just because some of the walls got broken that torpedoes were getting through. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I misunderstood. Yes. As soon as this wall here uh, died, uh, these torpedoes started uh, going through. Let me, let me show you this again. So let's do set target. See? We're getting blocked, and this uh, submarine is uh, healthy like never, never, never before. If I uh, swim under this uh, these walls, poof. So that's a very cheap uh, trick for uh, getting a lot more value out of your submarines. Uh, okay, I think we can jump to the games now. So uh, let me just. The lobby is up. The details are on the text chat for this voice channel. I'm just going to cheat and oh, pam 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 pam. W S for E. There we go. All right, so we have three people here here in the lobby, and we could do with a lot more. Uh, so jump in. You do have to uh, filter the battle list. You have to ensure this is not showing. Uh, uh, this is so sorry. You have to ensure that this is showing uh, passworded games, and then you can find the clinic day navy. All welcome. 
this one. Otherwise, you could uh, friend uh, me, Dimitri, Opinion. I didn't see it. Uh, it's in the. Uh, it's at the bottom of the battle list. If you can see the password, that lobby's there in purple. So uh, the password is WS4E. And it's also, also in the text chat for uh, this uh, voice channel. So we've got uh, almost four people uh, for both teams. So this is sort of a weird map because there's, um, I don't think there's a room, like, sorry, land to make an, any factory except for the naval ones. When I last played on this map, I think it counted and there was enough land to get three wind turbines up. Ooh, on the entire map. Thanks. Nice. I guess you could put perimeter cameras there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, Openman suggests adding 50 water. I think we can let people get away with those free wind turbines. That's not going to be uh, hugely impactful. I think the wind on this map is also particularly bad, so... That could be the case, yes. Um, yeah. launchers. Sorry, go ahead. Come again. About the coastal torpedo launchers. Uh, uh, I think I think it's too small for those. I think the coastal torpedo launchers are bigger than wind turbines. By the way, about those, they're pretty strong, but if you actually check, they're actually. Uh, quite slow to build. They have a really, really large build time. I think it's like twice the value for the offshore naval statics. And naval statics, uh, one, sorry, I mean the torpedo guards. Right? One thing Puffy didn't cover was uh, the statics, other than the uh, coastal oh. torpedo launcher. Yes. Uh, the problem with naval statics is they are kind of bad, and they all get outranged by destroyers. Exactly. Every single uh, naval static gets outranged by a destroyer. I mean, so you don't see those very one often. Ones. Is that also true for the Tier 2 ones? I, I, I don't think the, two, the Tier 2 torpedo launcher gets outranged, nor the uh, normal turret, because I think the normal turret in Tier 2 has a plasma launcher on it. Yeah, naval turrets are weird. But the, the problem is getting to tier 2 in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Ayn asked if there wasn't a naval uh, heavy laser turret. There is? Get there is, but its range is still shorter than a destroyer. There's no light laser turret, though, so anyone can kill your base with hovercraft. Yeah, the torpedo launchers also can't hit hovercraft, so do be careful about those. Yeah, that's true. Hovercraft are actually pretty good as a transition on this map. Uh, Pandara, Just can because... you fix your mic? We're hearing a lot of static. Very fast. Mm. Hovercraft, by the way... Uh, Pandara, we're still getting a lot of... Oh, thank you. Uh, so, ho uh, Hovercraft, by the way, uh, we should probably mention this. They lose to land units on land, and they lose to naval units on the sea most of the time. But they are they're, fast. They are fast, and their advantage lies in uh, being able to switch between the two. So, this, by the way, uh, if you're playing like straight and, and you've won your uh, naval lane, you should uh, cover the enemy shore in uh, those tier one radars. Sorry, uh, radar sonars. 
just so you can spot stuff like hovercraft or marauders or uh, dogs coming. You should also always poke at them to make sure that they're on their toes and not freely echoing. Ideally, you win yep. your C lane and then you transition into something else. Yep. Uh, we have room for one more uh, sea dog. Uh, I mean, sorry, we have room for uh, five more uh, sea dogs, but if you want to do six to six. Well, let me boss someone else so that they can start the game when they need to. What yes on this? I hope you can uh, help out with starting the game, the skin refine. Come on, guys, vote yes on this, please. Uh, has anyone Seven. wanted mm, to... He's going to hunt a Lima. What? Why are you bossing me? Uh, because we need a boss in the lobby, because I'm going to be spectating. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah, don't start just yet, just, you know. Yeah. Once we're all ready. Uh, so has any... Sorry, has everyone who wanted to get into the lobby gotten into the lobby? Does anyone still have trouble with that? Uh, let's go through the, the list of participants on Discord. Adzi, I see you there. Ayn, I see you there. Uh, Dark Spirit. In the... there. Delery. Uh, Deskup, did you want to jump in? Uh, general? There's a general in the. Voice channel. Hunter, hunt, Hunter, you're there. It's ya boy, Nico. I don't see you in there. Lemur, two. Sorry, two. I want to, but I'm pretty tired. Oh no. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. I'm uh, banned, so I can't play. Oh. Well. Oh. Yeah. Well. Um, Lurpil, Madvi, you're there. Metamind, who's muted and defend. Okay. Onfeuch. I'm not on my PC yet. Okay. Uh, Shriker. We could get uh, 66 six, six if just one more person jumped in. You might want to change map. This map is a bit big if you don't have the AT8. Or, yeah. Uh, I and Opiman, I think you could just jump in, honestly. I think it's fine if it's 6v6. Uh, six Okay, I think I think we could start honestly. Uh, all right. Uh, these Kinerify wanna hit uh start. Thank you. Oh, oh because I was in the game spectating. Yes. So, an opening I would re recommend here is something like two. Let me actually uh, take a look at. Yeah, probably uh, two maxes, a title, then, you know, more maxes. Uh, basically, you want, you want to end up with as many maxes as you can grab without walking much. 
uh, and uh, like free titles. Then you get a shipyard. Uh, then what I like personally is getting your fast units. So that's a dolphin or a supporter, depending on whether you're playing Cortex or Armada. And you really shouldn't feel forced to play one or the other at the moment. I think they're pretty easily matched. Um, and then... Until tier 2, that is. Sorry, come again? Until tier 2, that is. Uh, I'm not quite convinced. I'm pretty sure pound for pound Cortex has the better ships in tier 2. <laughs> uh, Cortex has the bad better sh uh, ships here too, right? I see there's already yeah. some cons controversy. Um, I mean, the On has definitely the better flagship. I guess. Uh, by the way, the, the flagship is usually a trap unit. That's true. You really shouldn't be making those until you really have the eco economy to uh, make them really quickly. Or if you want the naval war. Uh, transition into something else. Impact the game a lot sooner than flagships. Yes. I would definitely recommend something like a seaplane transition or something amphibious. Something that hit... I mean, missile cruisers are definitely good for like sni sniping geos and killing people from the shore. But Yeah, flagships... missile cruisers are usually enough. Yeah. And you do want to get tier 2 naval at some point just to grab the tier 2 maxes. Yeah. Anyway, we're uh, sort of just to, just to fin finish the thought. So af after you get your shipyard, you want uh, like free titles, uh, your maxes, and then you want your, sh your shipyard, and then you want to add a few more uh, titles while you're going for one uh, unit to scout. And harass uh, two constru two constructors, one going for metal, one going for energy, and then uh, you start adding, adding more uh, combat units on a map like oh, this. Oh, P-Man and I, and I would suggest you guys move to somewhere with more maxes, more initial max concentration, because the center on this map isn't a lot more metal rich than the other parts. Yeah, A1. So fighting for the spawn, mid doesn't make uh, much sense. Just, uh, yeah, that, that, that's good. Wow, just in the next time. By the way, I am streaming uh, this on Discord, but please don't use this. That to respect it. Uh, A1, your com is just walking back to the initial maxes you had placed in the center. Do be careful. Yeah, uh, by the way, it really helps to play uh, Navy from uh, a top-down perspective. Like not at an angle, but directly from above. The reason for that is that the perspective uh, can really mess up your building placement. Uh, right, and we will be pausing uh, this time uh, rather fre fre frequently, just to be able to, you know, go over everyone and uh, figure out your mistakes. Uh, okay, so there are actually a few islands where you could put a coastal torpedo launcher. I guess. Okay, looks like... Um... The problem with building as navy is that the build grid is assuming it's at the bottom of the sea, but visually things are placed on top. So, a tidal, for example, mm -hmm. th th that's why it's suggested to play top down, because you might see the mech somewhere, but its build grid would be, for example, further up because of the perspective you're looking at. So, it can clip with certain buildings that you wouldn't expect. And visually, it can look like you're building on top of a max. Remember that once your energy falls below like 100, you want to stop boosting your shipyard. 
and just Lima, you should probably grab that, that fourth max at this out. point. Uh, by the way, uh, Dimitri, can can we try the uh, chat for individual advice and voice for uh, global advice? Sure. Okay. Awesome, thank you. All right, so we do have a few uh, scouting and harassing units already out on the map. Uh, I do hope you, if you if you see them, that you'll be pinging them so your allies can react. Delightful, sweet. Yeah, remember that Maxes cannot actually be, uh, you know, poked down. Ian, you might want to move your commander a little. So, uh, so, sorry, I, I know I contradicted myself just now, but remember that uh, your commander is also a decent defensive tool for those uh, quick uh, harass harassment units. But it does need to be in range. And the deeper it is, the shorter the actual range. So you need to be pretty close. To the enemy units to actually be able to shoot that piddly later. Let's um, add five minutes, maybe. Let's pause. Not not just yet. Uh, you are all uh, very low on metal now. With titles, it's decently uh, efficient to uh, make metal metal converters. They pay off in like uh, four minutes or so. Um, might not be the case on this particular map. I think I did the cal calculation on 23 title speed. But they're decent. But if there are still uh, free metal spots, you should probably be grabbing them. Uh, for example, nobody right now is moving to contest the center of the map, and there are some uh, pretty important uh, mexes to take there. Um, okay, I think we we can pause now. Anyone? I can't actually yes, be a spectator. Oh, Thank you. Okay, so ev everyone, please uh, zoom out. Uh, look, look at how what's happening out on the map. Uh, look at uh, Limur. I'll answer that question in a second. Uh, look at what's happening on the map. Look at uh, what resources are not yet taken. Communicate with your allies on who's taking them. Um, Ayn asks, how, how, the, how the hell does A1 already have so many supporters? Well, supporters are only 100 metal each, so they're really, really damn cheap. You should be expecting like three supporters for every two uh, dolphins. Oh, wow. Okay, that uh... ratio is off now. That's uh, from before I the nerf. I, I don't know how you managed to build six mexes in a row like that. <laughs> uh, where? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a your metal web. That's anything. a bug that sometimes happens. Opiman, what's that about the clipping? What, what clipping? Oh, uh, you mean... Yeah, uh, clipping to the position for mexes. Yeah, we, we should probably report that as a bug. I'll just take a screenshot. Naval, naval maxes are weird. Yeah, the naval maxes are kind of weird. Uh, by the way, one thing I will add is it's very easy to make uh, destroyers too early. There really are units that you don't make. I don't think you should make them unless, unless you need them to contest uh, submarines. Or uh, static uh, st static defenses. 
uh, or you've won your lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Uh... So, uh, let's just a quick macro check. Uh, Hunter, by now you really need. Uh, yeah, I, I see that you're getting uh, more titles. That's great. Uh, but you're you're also going to be uh, to need to assist your uh, shipyard. By now, you looks have, like you uh, just got raided. Metal bank. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that happens. Um. Mm -hmm. Dark Spirit, you also have a fair bit of uh, stored metal, that's because your shipyard is idle. Adzi, uh, you really should be adding a fair bit of more build power. He's uh, spending his metal right now, so the stockpile is only temporary. Ah, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Okay. Uh, and Delry, you're probably uh, overproducing. Uh, Energy a little. You could be adding, you... Uh, you could be adding a few more converters. Uh, as you do have a max behind your base that you could still grab. Uh, okay, I think we we can unpause now, and let's pause at like um, eight minutes. By the way, there's a question uh, in Discord chat. What's the difference between air and sea planes? So sea planes can hide underwater. Hardly anyone ever used that. Uh, There's a different list of planes you can build with seaplanes. Yeah, sea They're somewhere between tier one and two. Yeah, exactly. Seaplanes are pretty much uh, really have stats like a tier one point five uh, unit units rather, and they have some different tools like the Armada uh, seaplane gunship is quite uh, strong. Uh, torpedo gunships. Depends who you ask. Um, yeah, the seaplane swarmer is pre pretty much just a C1.5 uh, fighter. There's really nothing exceptional about those, anyway. Um, okay. Uh, by the way, Pure supporter might not perform very well against dolphins just because dolphins have much higher stats, a lot more HP, a lot more damage output, and supporters use lasers, meaning damage fall off as well. So I'm not entirely. I mean, that depends. If you get dolphins get to a critical mass, they perform well, well, very well. But supporters still have a uh, timing Smanking, uh, windows. Though. Where you uh, I mean, catch yeah, players. you need to flank with supporters. Yeah, I but mean, if we're looking at just raw stats, dolphins, right? I, I mean, if you're looking at raw stats, a dolphin has what more than twice the HP and more than twice the DPS for less than twice the cost. So unless you're getting flank damage, you're gonna lose to dolphins with supporters because it's not yeah, like supporters you, outrange either. Which is why you want to actually mix your units right yeah you, you want, want to add in to frigates or bait the dolphins into fighting in uh torpedo launchers like lima just did by the way how, how come no one is really fighting for the middle there's a lot of metal in there middle that doesn't exist two less players the, there aren't any players that spawned in the middle that's uh, why fair, fair. But there are people going out to fight in the middle. That's great. Uh, remember that radars, pretty good. I, I and to uh, see commanders, you those. need some sonar. Yeah, you can even to shoot at them, you need sonar. Yeah, submarines have sonar. Uh, the sonar destroyers have sonar. Obviously, have sonar, and destroyers have a little bit of sonar as well. So yeah, it's destroyers, uh, subs, skaters, herrings, and the uh, building. And commanders, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Um, let's actually pause now, if that's okay. Because 
one thing I forgot to mention. I, maybe that uh, because everything is so expensive in the sea, you really need to uh, play conservatively with your units. You don't want to take fights you cannot win. You don't want to leave wrecks in enemy territory just because uh, navy is very very snowbally. I would Which also means... recommend you get res subs and res ships because they tend to toss a lot of metal and not a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. the wrecks are less valuable than land wrecks. There was something as a percentage. Like it was I think they give slightly less. Work. I'm sure. So yeah, okay, uh, I, I recommend anyway, you resurrect ships. Definitely. All right, so uh, zoom out. Try to communicate with your allies. Uh, again, look at uh, what resources you're missing. Uh, like if you have ex uh, excess metal, maybe share it with your team. Maybe lower your uh, sliders a little just so uh, your allies can sp spend uh, that uh, uh, instead of you. Um... Dark Spirit, you might want to start thinking about mixing in other ships with your dolphins and adding maybe more build power to your lab. Although you are yeah. spending the metals. I shared metal, not spent. <laughs> that works. Uh, I mean, you cannot get shurikens in the sea. Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, you can nuke the islands to bring them down to sea level, but you can't restore the land to bring it up and make a platform. <laughs> All right, I think we can pass now. All right. So there are fights uh, happening in the bottom. And, Someone forgot uh, the dolphins do not shoot commander. I would like to remind you that there is a naval yeah. hovercraft platform in case you want to build one of those and be immune to torpedoes. Though I wouldn't necessarily recommend that just now. Yeah, it's like if you want the speed to flank. To... I guess, yes. Yeah, just remember that if you've had a fight in your territory, make a few rest stops and grab that metal. Especially if you have an idle shipyard, a uh, lemur. <laughs> Don't forget the repeat button on shipyards. Oh yes, repeat on all factories is a uh, delightful tool. Uh, OP man, that's a very um, healthy um, mixed composition, but you really should be adding some more build power. You're really not spending your resources at all. Yeah, you don't have any build power assisting your lab. Yeah, I get that you're busy micring though. Yeah, see, I I do think that destroyer is you've made this quite a bit uh, early. Like, you don't want to make destroyers before you have um sort of a wall in front of them. Otherwise, you're just gonna get dived and killed. And that destroyer is a huge investment. It really can't fight uh, other units all that well, especially the Cortex one. Like, it's great as static artillery, but because it fires so rarely, it's a bit tough to use it as a skirmisher. All right, there's a nice fight uh, happening in the middle right now. Uh, I love that you. Uh, this can if I uh, saw that you weren't sure you can win this and retreated. Uh, yeah, same goes for Madve. Madve, you've seen uh, a bunch of submarines, so that should tell you that you should be adapting. Uh, none of the none of the things you're you're making can uh, shoot uh, underwater. So that means you want either your own uh, submarines, that's a good option as Cortex, or you want destroyers. Uh, 
und diesen Kuchen. Oop. Yeah, see, this is why I really like su uh, supporters in the scene. Just because you can, uh, you know, they are fast. Pick your fight. Yes, they are very fast and they're very strong. I mean, not individually, right? But one disadvantage they do have is they tend to leave wrecks very often. Which means yeah. gifted res subs do a lot, uh, help a lot. Yeah, uh, the self destruct trick, uh, you know, self destructing your units so they don't uh, leave uh, wrecks is pre pretty good on the sea, especially with those uh, fast uh, harassing units such as. Uh, no, I meant the. I meant when supporters raid, when they kill things, those things will leave a wreck most of the time because the supporter doesn't have high burst damage. Yeah. So true. they won't overkill. Mm -hmm. True, true. Uh, do you see people resigning? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just let this play out and we'll just uh, jump into uh, another game pretty soon. What's your this lesson for today? I... Watch out when you're building Maxus. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, that's unlucky. Um, sorry, sorry, that happened to you. Is this only Navy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, on this map you can really not really make anything else you you can make uh naval the naval hovercraft platform and you can make the seaplane lab i i see uh some of you have already done that okay no wind is actually I'm, I'm decent trying to learn how to play navy that's why i was like i only played navy this way uh sorry come again are you uh, today? Are you only doing navy, or are you, are you gonna change a map or something? Only navy uh, today. We, we are only going to uh, do navy today. Uh, today we are going to change the maps as well, but we're going to do uh, na naval focused ones. Okay, okay. So, I'm no, I'm no, trying no. to learn how to play navy. Sorry for interrupting. No, don't worry. Perfectly fine. Uh, are all these people uh, doing like? Like listening or playing, I don't know. Uh, they are listening and they are uh, planning. I mean, I hope they're listening. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> no worries. No worries, seriously. <laughs> like, if anyone has questions at any time, feel free to just ask them. Uh, yeah. Dark Spirit. Uh, you're really making no rest stops, and those would really, really, really help you. I had it somewhere. I don't see where. Uh, here, okay. It. You can also reclaim your tier one lab or make more of them, because you now have yes, tier but, two. But... You should be upgrading your maxes as well. I I wouldn't actually reclaim that just yet. Yeah, I wouldn't reclaim it, especially since you're not making anything. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, like he, he could always use uh, the Valentian. Sorry, but the problem with Dark Spirit here is that he might arrest up. That's better. That's sorry. That's good. But you know what's better than a single arrest up? Ten. More of them. No. Uh, of funny them. enough, yeah. he could just use the naval engineers, which have the similar build, a similar build power, but are cheaper. Uh. But they cannot resurrect. They can't resurrect, but they can still reclaim, and these are tier two. Mm -hmm. Resurrecting tier no, one ships when he's at tier two is. Uh, I actually think that tier one stuff remains useful uh, in na uh, in naval games, just because tier two really doesn't have good anti spam tools. I mean, so they've uh, the cruisers are rather decent, mixing. but. 
Dolphins are mm. still problematic. Yeah. I wouldn't overestimate uh, cruisers, anyway. Uh, there was a question, what do I build in seaplane? So, um, torpedo gunships are quite decent. Okay. So, uh, they're okay. Seaplanes uh, are... is usually better used to fight land than sea. Yeah. You could sea use plane... torpedo gunships kind of similar to bombers and raid players' bases with them. The seaplane bomber is quite decent, though. Yeah, I like the seaplane bomber. Yeah. Like, as Cortex, I would probably be defaulting to seaplane bombers. As Armada, I would be defaulting to seaplane gunships. There's an asymmetry there, like that. I mean, on na in naval games, obviously torpedo uh, gunships are at the premium, right? Because they're always gonna be useful. Yeah, I would just watch out for naval AA. Seaplanes uh, aren't the best at being able to take on naval AA. Yeah, yeah. They don't have a long range option like tier two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, torpedo bombers, the tier two ones, are pretty good at engaging into. Uh, naval A, but you do have to micro them a lot. Also, if you, it, it might not show, but there are fighters in the tier two, in the seaplane lab, but they're called mm -hmm. swarmers. And nobody knows why. I Probably guess it's because for they're added really cheap. Appeal. Yeah, they are. Wait, okay. do swarmers hit ground? No, they don't. Then the weapon name is misleading. Uh, yes, it is. It's called an air-to-air -air slash air-to-ground missile. Oh, yeah, that should be fixed. Thank you, I've taken a screenshot. Mm -hmm. uh, At this oh, point, everybody should be mixing in destroyers to, into their forces so that they can defend against subs. And kill commanders. By the way, uh, once you win, so, sorry, once you sort of won your lane, once you have an advantage, once you can, uh, you know, safely safely take up, you should do so, and you should immediately start with a tier two constructor, and usually one or two a naval engineer to assist that constructor. Just because uh, those have a very good amount of build power, so they let you upgrade your mechs really quickly. So we're down to, okay, so we're down to three players on Team East. What would be a good move for uh, Team West to pull off? A surrender. Flanking subs. Uh, for, for Team West? A surrender? Mm, That's a push. very interesting strategy. I, I would see Team West get, getting subs and attacking from the south to be a game winning move. Especially since subs rush. are spotted by the radar. They'd need sonar to see them. So you had some, someone asking question, I think. But they didn't quite catch it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Iron uh, flagships would take way too long to end this game. I mean, they can just loop up and push one side. They can end the game a lot sooner than flagships, is the point. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I do want to just and point out one thing. Literally anything. Just spamming boats would end faster than flagships. I, I want to remind everyone that the flagship is the most expensive unit that ARM has access to. Literally the most expensive unit. I think as yeah, much as a big unit, isn't it? Yeah. Like, a really close. Uh, also, so a behemoth is cheaper than a juggernaut. <laughs> yes, it is. And it counters it really hard. Really so it counts as well, anything that tries to fight it. You don't fight a, a behemoth. 
think it takes like 10% of a Juggernaut's HP every time it hits it, too. Which is it's crazy. because the Behemoth has a D-gun, which hits every frame it's passing through a unit. So it does more damage to bigger units. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah. we have enough people for a 5v5 now. I see Star Fox in the lobby. I, I want to join, but I can't find the... Check the okay, text yeah, chat so... of this voice channel. Yes, let, let, me, let me just show you. You want to... Uh, I'm, right now I'm showing that on the stream. You want to go to the battle list. You want to ensure you're not filtering out passworded games. And there's a game called uh, Clinic Day, Navy, All Welcome. And the password to that is, well, it's here, WS4E. Star Fox, there absolutely is room, jump in. We could change maps. We will probably uh, change the map. Uh, Timidry, ideas? Uh, I mean, we could do Ring at All remake. Ring at All. That could work. Yes. Thanks, uh, this can verify. Way ahead of me. It is smaller than Barrier Reef, so. How many spawns are there actually? Uh, uh, looks like 10. 10. I'm assuming each of the islands is a spawn. I guess. Okay, let, let me just double double check. Uh, uh, sorry, who was, who was it who wanted to uh, join in? Did you succeed? Uh, me. Okay, and? Yeah, ring at all. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone joined. By the way, there's still yeah, room in the I... lobby if anybody wants to join. Let's wait a bit longer. Uh, we might need to make the start boxes bigger if it's the islands that are the spawns. Uh, we I mean, could this does look like a free flow map, but still. Uh, Serene Caldera. I think it's a decent map for teams. Oh. It's a bit big though. 30 by 30. Yes. Especially if we're doing it as a 5v5 or a 4v4. Okay, I, okay, then I guess we can go back to. Uh, can uh, you tell me what's the password? Uh, the uh, it's password in the text is... chat. Uh, yeah, let me. Okay, sorry. I think it was WS4E. Uh, yes. uh, I'll ping you into the mm -hmm. user chat uh, and the password. Is... Oh. oh, you are. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. Um, okay, we have enough for a 5v5. That should be good. Maybe make the start boxes bigger? Uh, so, Nikoksi describes the map as big enough for a 5v5, and I assume that's on default start boxes. So, I don't know. I, I mean, the default start boxes don't hit the Islands near the center, and uh, yeah, that, these are the spawns. Then, yeah, that's fair. Let's actually uh, can we increase the uh, spawns a little? Like, I don't know how to do that. Um, okay, let me just do it like that. Uh, you can just spawn on the islands and then walk to the water and build a, a navy lab. It's not like you're going to be able to build a bot lab and attack the enemy that way. Uh, this can notify. Can you uh, do the comment I uh, sent? Let's go. Just uh, copy paste it. So, I think it would be uh, decent. 
to uh... we can't see the okay sorry come again wait i think i can change um if i'm still boss these can refine you need to vote on that yeah Ooh, those are only 25, 25, too big, too big, 25. I think that's okay. I think it's gonna be okay. As long as everyone starts in islands, it's fine. Yeah. So, we could uh, increase the water level, but I would be okay with doing it like this. It doesn't change much. Yes, and it also gives the only the option to practice a uh, more common, you know, land to sea start. So you would probably yeah. start on, on the land, get a, a couple nexus there, uh, some wind turbines. Maybe get possibly. Land eco. Uh, that sort of depends. Let's wait wait on that until we uh, see the spawns. Okay, is everyone ready? Dark spirit. There you go. Okay, I think we we can start it. So on maps like uh, Supreme Strait, okay, on Strait specifically, I really like starting bot lab, getting constructors, getting red bots out because there's a lot of reclaim on that map, uh, and only then going going into shipyard here. I don't think there's enough uh, energy reclaim to really warrant that, so I would probably be going straight into a sh into a shipyard. I mean, after oh. your initial maxes, right? On straight, I'm a proponent of people buying cons and grass bots and not building a lab themselves. Yeah, I totally I like agree that. with that. Okay, I mean that's like I said, I don't know what the best naval strategy is right depends on where you spawn then start, I mean, start it's not a naval strategy it's a, it's a supreme straight strategy yeah 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 that's true like if you spawn an open ocean buying a res and a con is usually the i think i think that's the meta and then the if you spawn in the off ocean then you can get away with building a lab usually but there are there are a bunch of different things you can do from there that are viable but it's a trade-off Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm still learning that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, same, right? Uh... So this map the has way less is... metal than the last yes, one. Yes, it has fairly little metal, but remember that uh, the wind speed is very good here. So we'll, we'll probably want to cover all, as much of, the, uh, of your island. I love it. With, with winter, 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 winter words. With wind. The islands by. themselves also have a higher value maxes than the water. So if you can kill one of your opponents and then grab their island, or grab those smaller islands around the edges. Uh, Savizara and uh, Discarify. I would recommend that everyone here plays uh, Navy, just straight uh, shipyards. That's what we want to practice in this game. This is not a game. They also where we should. Focus on th this winning. is big enough that there shouldn't be a backline. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. just asking because, like, yeah. Yeah, of course. This map is big okay. enough that there shouldn't be a backline. Clinics are weird, like like that, right? Sometimes we'll just ask you to do suboptimal stuff. Just for the sake of learning. Uh, Wait, Dory, am I not being able to... You cannot Sorry, put shipyard in the middle. Wait, what? I cannot put shipyard in the middle, I can on the on right side. Funny. That's weird. What do you mean on right side or on the middle? You can only uh, put shipyards I... in the back. Yeah. If I try oh, to... Oh, I guess the, the water right, isn't the right... deep enough. Oh. Yeah. yeah, the water is... Oh. The water oh. fell. Whoa, weird. What? <laughs> I mean, that's the fine. The, the islands are covering for the boats. Okay. It's like a hovercraft map. Yeah. I mean, the boats should still be able wow. to go into the middle. Yeah, they will. I'm just thinking, yeah. is this traversable by boats? 
I think so. I I'm not sure. But we're just we're still all going bots. Nobody go bots. Yeah. Uh, yes, the oh, the light blue water no, is traversable bots. by bots. What about boats then? I would not still ask everyone the... to go ships. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ships. Wait, can we build ships? I like can't build a shipyard out here. Yeah, so can uh, I guess can we do hovercraft initially? Like I have to build hover. I can't build a shipyard. Oh you can the big on like the outside of the ring. Yeah. You need to build the shipyard in the deep water. Yes, yeah. I'll say it. Too, too I'll, I'll, big. Of the light blue Two choke points only. That's then maybe awesome. we should have raised the water level a bit. Uh, perhaps, yes. Yeah. I know it takes a while, but I, that's, I, I think you should probably restart and do just that, because it's going to come down to two choke points. Where no, the, the boats should still be able to go through yeah. the center. I think they they can. just can't build the shipyard in the center. Well, except maybe subs might not be able to go to the center, but I don't know. Um, we should probably have tested this map beforehand. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, first person to make a boat should definitely test if they can go into the middle. They can in fact go into the middle. Sweet. What the hell? Uh, I am not sure how submarines are going to be. Okay. <laughs> nice. The big brain play. Yes. I'm going to test the theory. It can. Don't forget to grab the maxes on the islands, the small ones. They are high value compared to the other ones in the water. Let's pause at four minutes, okay? So let's just play. You and... can't do uh, title generators either. In the middle? Oh, bloody um, God. You have to be in the deep water too for that. I guess, but honestly, there's enough space in the deep water to build titles. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Submarines cannot go uh, into the center, but they can still go around and, and harass. I mean, they can harass the blue areas. The dark we stop this? blue can areas. Can we do anything? We should probably stop this. This is an interesting map. Yeah, this is probably too interesting. Yeah, let's just stop this. Um, Discanarify, can you do a uh, stop? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sorry, everyone. So, that happened. Let me oh, add sure. water. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, do you uh, think adding 50 is going to be enough? Uh, let's... I'm not sure. That's the issue. We could. Oh. I mean, someone said 150. OP man is saying 150. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that. Uh... Can we set it to 150? Mm-hmm. So then, I assume we won't, uh, you won't be able to make wind turbines, but the regular uh, tidal economy will still work. That's just I mean, the titles are still at 20, which is decent. We'll test yeah. the theory. Okay. Sorry, come again? We'll test it. Okay. So, titles are sort of the solars of the sea. They give you constant energy. Uh, that depends on the tidal value. That does not does not vary over time. It just just depends on the map. But unlike basic solars, they also cost a little bit of energy. Two fifty for uh, each tidal you generator. You can start by the way. Yeah, let's start. Thank you. <laughs> um, that was awkward. I'm thinking maybe 50 would have been enough, and then maybe the islands would have, wouldn't have been submerged. But no, I don't know. I, I think they still would have been submerged. Oh well, I think this is gonna be fine. 
<laughs> funny looking now. Yeah, a bit weird. Oh well. I think it'll get fixed once we start. Yeah, so this is uh, Ring at all the global warming condition. We should have also made the water as lava. No. I think that um, two can go. Sorry, come again? And T2 uh, go in the middle. Uh. They should, yeah. Yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it looks like you can build a lab now. Oof. <laughs> you can build it over your island, too. <laughs> so I think we, we got plenty of water. Yeah. I mean, this is the, what we wanted to practice, right? So... Should be good. We can, bu we can build a... Uh, it's called a... No. Everybody ready? No. No more windmills, uh, only tidal generators. So something yeah. like uh, two maxes, probably a tidal, then your third max, then like two more tidals, then your shipyard. All right, good luck and fun. And let's have our first pause at like uh, four minutes. Maybe five minutes. You know, people can't take advantage of the 18.8 .8 wind. <laughs> I do want to point out, you can still reclaim the trees for energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very, very good move once you're starting to uh, run low on energy. Oh yeah, this was something that wasn't covered and I didn't get to uh, last game. But once you hit tier 2, it's not a bad idea to make a carrier, even if there aren't any nukes. Because the carrier still produces 300 energy, has a very long line of sight, very big radar, and very big sonar. It's not all that efficient, but it does... It's about as efficient as titles. It, it is almost as efficient as titles with 20 title speed. Almost. But like I don't, it's, I don't uh, think uh, the anti-nuke capability is going to be useful in this match. For it is, it's like 4.7 metal to 1 energy, compared to the 4.25-ish of a metal, uh, of a title to uh, metal to energy for core. It's probably more worth it for ARM to do it, honestly. Uh, but it way, is uh, dense, uh, titles, everyone, effectively. I want to uh, remind you that if you're at very low energy, you should stop assisting buildings. Because if you're on uh, like zero energy consistently, your metal, metal extractors will stop working. And that's, you know, that's bad, right? Because metal is the limiting factor. Most of, most of the time. If you make an early res sub, you can use it to reclaim trees. Since it doesn't usually have anything to do in the early game. In the mm -hmm. very early game. Yeah. It's probably producing more energy than the title. Remember to get... Uh, probably two early construction ships. You want one uh, dealing with metal. While there is metal on the map, and there is a lot of metal on the map, uh, and you want one uh, getting, uh, you know, titles for energy. Uh, remember also that uh, uh, radar and sonar is very good to uh, spot raiders. Might be that specifically for you. Like in your in your situation, if you're getting get, getting traded with uh, just dolphins, uh, probably a, uh, an offshore torpedo launcher would be pretty good.
Yeah, if you have uh, units, don't just stand with them. Mm. Nice, nice job dodging, Matvi. Buying time. That's great. Just remember that you're not going to be able to uh, dodge uh, Commander the, the laser. Well, Matvi managed to defend his base. Uh, I'd say it's still pretty close, so you should probably be asking asking for help from your allies. Uh, I think what he should be doing he, is moving the commander forward. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah, if you have units and you're not using them, uh, why are you even making them? Right? Matt, I meant forward towards your enemy. There's also a lot of metal there on the ground. Because your commander yeah, can still yeah, fight the dolphins and not get shot at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's pause maybe now. Anyone? Yeah. I am? Thank you. Uh, okay, so everyone, please, uh, again, zoom out, take a look on the map, take a look at uh, what un untaken resources are there, whether there are uh, allies in trouble that you could be helping with your unit, whether there are raiders that you should be uh, dealing with, whether you have unspent resources, uh, for example, whether you're full on energy that might indicate that you need to be uh, you might need to, uh, to be adding some converters, even just one, oh. just to eat uh, the excess. Uh, also, look at whether there are any holes in the enemy line that you could be taking advantage of. That applied here especially to uh, Adzi and Sevizara. And I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> mangling your nickname. Um, all in all, looks pretty good though. Looks quite well. Don't be scared to use your commander as a fighting unit, especially since this early on the only things that can shoot at them are subs, destroyers, uh, torpedo launchers, and another commander. Torpedo launchers will require something to build up. Destroyers, it's a bit too early for those. And you can micro your commander to dodge torpedo subs, uh, sub torpedoes. Okay, I, think... uh, I I don't think bomb com bombing is very effective in uh, sea just because ships can run away very quickly. Commander is very yeah, slow in the uh, water. Commander, if uh, Dark Spirit gets a good foothold there, that's threatening. Yes, but I don't and think com bombing is gonna cool. save him from this. Probably, maybe. Yeah. It kind of seems like he's going to hard feed into the torpedo launchers if he tries to compound me. Yeah, could be. I watched the guy do that yesterday. I mean, com plus torpedo launcher will take him out very quickly. Yeah, that's true. Alright, let's end pause. Thank you. What he should have done was probably walk his commander into uh, Dark Spurt's direction to prevent the torpedo launcher from going up. In the first place. I would actually just recommend uh, Doug, uh, Matt V to make a destroyer at this stage. Yes. A yes. destroyer is going to outrange those to those uh, torpedo launchers and allow them to siege them. No, but well, well done. Well done. 
it, it will also allow him to here. shoot at the uh, commander. Mm -hmm. Move the death charges. Yes, that would be pretty good. This oh, I'm pretty sure this will also just kills the commander on its own. Uh, yeah, OP, OP, OP man raises a very good point. Destroyers outrange uh, all statics, but they don't have enough uh, line of sight on their own to do that. So you need to assist them with uh, your uh, vision providing units. So that's herrings or skaters. Or a radar. Or a radar, yes. Nasty, uh, nasty problem though. A lot of times with battleships is that the radar dot will sit just far enough off of the urchins that you'll just be shooting water. You do actually yeah. have to. I've, I've no, found I've in... a lot of ocean. You have to. You have to be really careful about that. Naval radar still gives a lot of line of sight. It has a line of sight of seven hundred and forty. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm I'm just saying if you don't actually have vision and you're exclusively relying on yeah. radar, that can be the a problem. The best way to counter this orange what orange is doing though is to make pork like torpedo launchers and junk. Uh Matt, I would ask your teammates to just send help. Oh, we're already here. Well one person's already there. There's two two more of us. Uh, yeah, I guess. But yeah, because yellow is also coming in to help now, so... Yeah, yeah but uh, blue is having a tough time. Oh, and, uh... you should, Matthew, you should way, probably um... also make a res sub at some point soon. By the way, I'm sorry if, I, if we're not getting to like everyone, uh, but if you want to ask follow-up questions either now or later on during, you know, by... Somebody can replay even one of those. That's very welcome. Uh, Whistlers of the sea doing their job. I know, honestly, I'm not, I'm not sure you sh because like you did get preview one. That's tough to deal with, especially if you're if you're getting. No, preview one in a scenario you're Ma not uh, familiar with. So. Matthew, I would definitely suggest that you use your comp to boost out the constructor and then just get a couple of uh, one or two counters out, just because you're not spending your resources. And there's a ton of reclaim you could get. There's still a max nearby you could grab. It's... Also, just don't, don't forget you know... that you can move the, the you could move the destroyer forward and attack the commander that's just standing there. Destroyers eat comms for breakfast. Just stay just outside of the comms range. Don't don't mm -hmm. let the comms shoot you. But no, they even just if stay the comms shoots, comms e even if the comms shoots, the destroyer still wins. Actually, well, maybe there, but comms can capture destroyers faster than the destroyer yeah, they, can kill them. The but issue, a com but like, a like we're oh, can here is when the destroyer overextends. Yep. Uh, those were dark spirits. Those dolphins, right? So I mean, I would say that uh, Matty came out on top on that. Uh, well, yes. The reclaim is in fact in Madvi's uh, area, but like Dark Spirit could he... be focusing the red sub right now. Yeah. Ah, now we just saw. And there's more yeah. support. Like green and purple, you really should be moving in closer. I don't know yeah. what you're doing that far away. It's because there's a navy in front of my base. And if I sit over there and they just all land me, I just lose everything. I mean, the navy that just attacked Matvi was the navy sitting in front of your base. By the way, one player has left, so uh, Team South, you should probably do slash take to take control of those units. Uh, I mean, yeah, this shit's Not... mostly dead anyway. Yeah, true, true. Hmm. Honestly, 
I think it might be short to short time. Shorter Shore is going to devolve into a typical Shorter Shore game. See this? Everybody see this navy that's killing me right now? That's why I can't go over there. That's rough. See red? It's free, free real estate. I mean, that's mostly because blue died. Yeah. Yeah, we were fighting red middle and right side like the entire time. Kind of a new development. Yeah, red, red is on the right side. The fact that he's middle is because there's now pink can just attack Sivan. And that can focus somewhere else. Yeah, it's GG. Excellent dodges with those command with the commander there. Uh, where I was watching, sorry. On the left, Matty uh, got a good like um, he dodged like a good like fifteen torpedoes before he got taken down. Nice. From four subs. It's... I would actually watch out about spamming subs just because. It will force your opponent to make destroyers, and destroyers are pretty good anyway. Yeah, yeah and also yeah. the the problem is is that subs are just not metal efficient compared to destroyers. They don't they don't beat destroyers metal per metal, and then destroyers can also shoot at other things while you know up charging the subs. Yeah, it allows a destroyer to use its full DPS. Yeah, I've just yeah I've never mm -hmm. seen good things come from damning subs. If your opponent, you know, just makes destroy. Uh, by the way, uh, Seto Kaiva in the chat asked, "What's your take on Shark Thief or Naval Dragon Thief as a defense for controlling the path ships can take to attack you?" I have They're pretty good this. when paired with subs. It like, doesn't I've stop never... the marine. Yeah, but, yeah, but like I've never done this uh, with like long walls to divert ships never before. i guess it depends Maybe on the map good. yeah if yeah. there's terrain that you can use to your advantage to also block off then having some walls up would be very nice to funnel units but i think it's yeah. more useful against hovers than against boats yeah because uh, you take way, away the hovers main advantage very nice you said of, of those walls like the like, if you had more, you. you know, stuff to contest them with, this this would be this would be extre extremely strong. The play you just did with the walls, like, but you just don't have at the stage, you know, enough to fight. But very very well, very nice little play with the walls there. Just want to say say that. Um. I see somebody really enjoys Whistler Spam. No. <laughs> yeah. Deal with what? The uh, herrings? You. Uh, lots of supporters, lots of dolphins. Herrings yeah. have shit yeah, DPS and aren't particularly fast. Yeah. Close, close the gap, get to them, kill them. That's it. And oh. unlike they're all about land, to die right here. Uh, unlike land, uh, where you can cover for whistlers using statics and the commando, you can't really do that on sea. Because no D gun. Yeah. No D gun anyway, and the naval statics are pretty bad. About the D I, actually. I. What do you mean naval There's... statics are pretty bad? They are. Hey, you build a destroyer. Well, yeah, but like, okay, so naval statics left alone against a destroyer, yes, they're bad, but that's like, I don't know, that yeah. that's like saying leaving land statics alone against artillery oh. is bad. Like, of course it yeah. is, that's the hard counter I to mean, it. Yeah, but if you talk about Whistler's uh, meta, then it's also countered by artillery. Yeah, but I, unlike I, land, where uh, you've got players that just go bots, everyone has access to destroyers on sea. And it's a good unit anyway. So people yeah, will be yeah, making like, destroyers. 
the, the problem is, is to to use the destroyer to take down static like that, you have to put the destroyer in an extremely vulnerable place that any kind of dolphins or supporters can just rip it apart. Yeah, but you're playing against someone that's doing herring spam. You you already know the player's doing herring spam, though. So. Oh, well, in, in that case, case yeah. Yes. Yeah, on, in this case. Like, my largest gripe with the uh, naval statics is that the floating uh, heavy laser tower well, pre pretty expensive for what it does yeah and the offshore torpedo launcher can actually have its projectile to dodge like it's and the it, it just dies to hovers you have it that doesn't do anything but, to them yeah yeah but like in a ship to ship to ship scenario i would pre generally prefer making a units rather than statics that's my point I've just had, from experience, other than making like a couple of offshore torpedoes if facing heavy spam, I've just found naval statics to just not be very good. Much rather make yeah. frigates and destroyers. Well, I the problem is, is it's the I I agree with what you're saying, except for the mm -hmm. fact that one thing you might not be thinking about is the uh. Tier one harpoon. Um, it's yeah, only okay. what a hundred and a hundred and ten metal. The uh, the offshore harpoon or torpedo launchers like a hundred and ten metal. It costs I think it's cost less than a dolphin, and it's for for its actual metal cost, it hits far above its weight, and so I find yes, them great as, as said, fallback points. The offshore torpedo launchers, you make a few of them, but. You don't want to make too much, because then the enemy just makes destroyers and you die, I suppose. I mean... And... Okay, Dimitri, uh, I will actually... Uh, and it doesn't do much to hop Here, sorry. But, like, torpedo launchers are actually pretty good, paired yeah. with, uh, like, a The laser turrets, turrets yes. Assault no, frigates, mm -hmm. yeah. Not even uh, the laser turrets. Uh, I, I mean, they're pretty good with assault frigates as so, sort of a slow push. If uh, assault frigates uh, can retreat to those, uh, that covers their submarine weakness. So they can work. I'm just saying, I guess, for yes. purely defensive purposes, I would not overinvest in statics. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying they are, you know, terrible. I'm just saying you probably prefer units in most situations, unless you really, really, really need those statics for their efficiency. I mean, like, I, I agree, that. they are good, but the way I look at Ocean is as if all players are playing vehicle stud. And in vehicle stud, you just don't make a lot of statics because they have artillery. They can deal with them pretty easily. You still make some when you need the cost effectiveness of uh, statics, but you don't invest heavily in them because that'll just get your opponent to build artillery and kill them. And you've just wasted a bunch of metal. It's, yeah, na naval statics, you do have to defend those statics. It's, it's not something you just, you place them yeah. down and then, you know, if you don't actually have mobile units to cover those statics, um, they're worthless. But. Mm -hmm. I do find one one thing that they're really really good at is preventing a base trait of having um like um ha having three to five of those harpoon launchers in your base um is a great way of just shutting down the dolphin raid of you know the ten or fifteen dolphins yeah. or a couple of subs that they slipped past you. Mm -hmm. That definitely makes sense. L like I said, they're also the nice and chokes. We don't. Uh, like me, Dimitri, we're not like the best Navy players out there by by any means. So like, we will have I, in our, our knowledge, right? I'm just saying that from my personal experience because I I don't no, think I've definitely. played anything but Navy in the last like 30 matches. <laughs> <laughs> and your input is uh, very appreciated. Thank you. Uh, okay, so these Kinerify. Can we actually uh, switch? He's already the map? switched to shore to shore. 
Mm. Like I'm, I'm yeah, sure. we... do we want short to shore or do we want uh Serene Caldera? Up to you. It wasn't Serene Caldera re yeah, it's still really big for a 5v5. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, okay, it's very Maybe let's actually get uh, to the default water level. I think that would be would be better. Um, uh, I don't know what I don't know what that is. I already sent the command. We just need to vote on it. Oh, the, it said water level in in here. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have five players. On one team and six players uh, on the other. Uh, this map is for five players or four? This map can be played up to eight v eight. Yeah, I play eight v eight. It's <laughs> not kind of, there is a smaller yeah. version. It's a cluster. The, the, yeah. There is a smaller definitely version. We could yeah. play coast to coast. Uh, Probably play a different map. This map is kind no. of laney. Yeah, coast like, to coast would be way too small. Yeah, OP man. Yeah, you're right. I think this should be good. There is that map that was uh, that's used in the supremacy scenario, but I, it might also be too small. Uh, King, what's that one we played? It's new. It's pretty pretty water heavy. I don't know if for five years, oh, five, we might actually, just make it a water map. Actually, you know, that's a fun idea, because then we can uh, give Nikuxi some feedback. Can we do this one? I don't remember what barrier did. reef? Yes, the barrier reef. That's I, the I, one I, I was trying to... Let me go Sorry, and send the... There we go. Just vote on that. <laughs> yeah, this, this one, this one, yeah. We could, like, make, we think you can make it work for 5v5. I think there were three. Yeah, let's, let's uh, I want to say there were three on the island. If I remember right. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we might need to ask one. map makers to make smaller water maps. I mean, that's how coast to coast uh, came into existence. Yeah. We, yeah, but coast to coast is like a two v two map. Yes, that is. Are we good? All right, there's we there's nothing between like a 2v2, an 8v8, or a 16 player free for all. I think those are the options. Uh, by the way, uh, the king of all, uh, you're a bit, uh, you know, highly ranked for this. A bit OP. So I would just ask you to. A, a bit OP, yes. So uh, I'd just ask you to not win too quickly. Okay? I, I'm so, going to be honest. I didn't realize I was queued in. I thought I was specking. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll I'll play below my rank. Uh, actually, uh, then do we want to stop and let Ayn uh, jump in? Ayn, are you? They want. I'm fine with that. Or we can try four v four on the straights. No, I'm standing up. No, two players we are not on doing. We're not playing straight. straight. We are not doing straight. This is not happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> straight is banned from this lobby. The water. Yes. Uh, let's just wait for, uh... Any map with less than 50% of the players in the water is banned. Uh, let's just wait for Ayan to I'm, react. I'm assuming this is, like, this is for Navy, right? So we're not gonna, like, be dealing with air or anything like that, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could still land the eco. But you're expected to make boats. Okay, that's just I wanted to make sure that was the expectation there. It's solid so for five v five water. There. So. Yeah. As I said before, this is boat lobby, not bot lobby. Yes. <laughs> Although, like, we would probably have a a backliner here, who would probably want to go for an economic bot start. And then 8v8, I expect more than one backline on, on this map. Yeah, but in 5v5. I, on, right. In an 8v8, I expect two proper backliners, like one end, one eco, 
And then one Navy mm-hmm. back lineup to get naval tier twos out. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Because you do want the tier two uh, con in the water for tier two maxes. That is true. Uh, yeah, Sivan, you're still in the uh, previous game. You have to click, uh, like, leave in the upper right, but not oh, shit, leave uh, from the lobby. No worries. Okay, yeah. Uh, Madvey, Sevizara, ready up. This, by the way, uh, will probably be the uh, last game uh, for this event when almost going on for uh, two hours and I suppose my dog is gonna start complaining about that pretty soon. Mm. Uh, Sevizara? Too much knowledge, someone went asleep. <laughs> Reminds me of the DD campaign I played. Does anyone in the spectators want to join? I don't care. I'll in a slot if you need me to, and I. Just play bad. Everybody just specking now. What the fuck? <laughs> no, come on. Okay, let's just uh, spec the Vizara. Yeah. Okay, but no. Jump in. Oh, wait. Uh, buttons would like to join. Uh, so if you're watching the stream, you have to uh, make sure that. Are you, are you watching the stream? I hope so. Uh, you don't have uh, passworded games filtered out like this. Yeah. And then it's yeah, I'm buttons and I I'm showing passworded games, but I do not see that. Okay, uh, in that case, just friend. Scroll to the uh, bottom. It should be a purple lobby. Just... Hello. Would it be it, in it the purple be one of... area of the lobby it's a... or oh, sure. red? It's a purple lobby. Because this is a passworded lobby. The uh, lobby details are on the text chat of this voice channel. Oh, I found it. I cannot wait to start spamming dolphins. I mean, in that case, jump in. Yeah, yeah just give me a second. I just uh, got onto the PC. Maybe we can do one more, but uh, we'll see. I, I don't want to promise anything just yet. Uh, uh, the password is W. About sitting on your PC, it might not handle the wave. Okay, I'll just. You know, everyone, jump in. Jump the hell in. Uh, don't Dark break feet. your feet. Like I said, I have uh... not enough time to play. Oh, sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I know, a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, yeah, 6v6. Seems pretty good. Yeah, looks good. Oh, counter Kayama. Can can still go with the strat I was suggesting, where you've got five navies and uh, one navy uh, backliner. Navy tackle. Mm. The air player should be... Uh, There's no air player. This is both lobby. Uh, a sea player. Sea plane. Uh, whatever. Yeah, no, I guess both lobby. Could, uh... Both lobby only make boat. Only yeah, boat? Could let, you actually uh, restrict uh... boats. I mean, the... yeah, yeah, we could we could restrict the only boats. Uh... Oh yeah, you can actually disable air units and. Uh... Yeah, let's not. Wait, is yeah, that I don't see an option to just uh, pick by uh, the type. There is a, an option to pick yes. by the. Uh... Uh... 
I was just going to say disable air units, and then it's that way yeah, we don't have to worry not, about it. it really let's not. Let's not go there. I think it's. Yeah. Oh no! It's a silver. Yeah, Let's just I mean, try it. Yeah, we'd rather not not do restrictions, but from my point of view, my recommendation is still five frontlining C players and the attacking C player. Yeah, let's let's try that. Just so everyone gets some naval experience then. Like well, the, I... the attacking C player spawns on the land, but they will build a shipyard. Just because there aren't enough yeah. spawns in the water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I beaten uh, testing the waters on very hard, so I think I have some experience. <laughs> you beat the AI doing behemoth spam on a tiny island. Uh, well, it was. It, I think it actually managed to uh, use a naval once in like three games. So yeah, from what I can see, there's five spawns in the water, and you probably want to have one person on the island. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Uh, oh well, I'm still loading. So while he's still uh, loading, I have a question I'll start about back here. Uh, if the anti-nuke uh, launcher have a limit amount of rockets to shoot at once, because sometimes I have a breakthrough. One nuclear rocket is uh, slipping through the uh, defense. It's yeah, it stockpiles missiles like a nuke nuke yeah, silo. Yeah, I had eleven nukes uh, nukes launched and uh, nuke silo had twenty rockets. Yeah, but uh, actually, yeah, it can only block a certain number uh, at a time. Uh, there are two I things. I wouldn't even say it's a hard limit. There's just a finite amount amount of time it needs to uh, launch every fire reach shot. Oh, so I right? don't also there is uh, another thing. Less. Okay, thank you. It doesn't launch all of the anti-nukes at the same time. It needs to launch each one separately. So if it takes too long to launch each of the anti-nukes, the nuke will land. Mm. The longer the distance between the nuke and the anti-nuke, the more time it has to fire off missiles. Yeah, because I launched 11 nukes. Uh, there was four launchers. Uh, three of this had only one rocket. So 11 and one only passed through. So... That was enough. Uh, thank you for answer. Yeah, there you go. Are we good? Uh, Kyoma, could you uh, and this Kinder Pie, could you guys swap positions? Like, like this is gonna be a fair, fairly imbalanced, I, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's fine. I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'm just positioning uh, here because okay. I don't need the Navy practice. But I can yeah. just tack for them. Or you just have a uh, bio uh, and okay, ping okay, mirror. Ping mirror. <laughs> you have a mirror. <laughs> you know, yeah. this is the position where you'd want a tier two amphib constructor. <laughs> tier two amphib constructor here would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that, that it would be cool. I think someone suggested it in the past, but I don't remember what became of the thread. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess you could, like, ferret it around with a transport. The problem is there isn't a Tier 2 constructor that can build land Tier 2 maxes and Navy Tier 2 maxes. Oh. So you'd need to build a Naval Tier 2 con and a Land Tier 2 con. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the grid is not working properly on the water. Uh, Delry, uh, welcome to water maps. An, uh, Speaking of which, I should check those. Rather than uh, titles. You can just let the, those expire. You, you don't have to recla reclaim them. You don't have to reclaim them, please. You, you should just start to... making titles. Yeah, that's better. This happens, don't worry. Okay. Uh... So if I reclaim this uh, half-finished building, I will get resources back or not? Because they are the uh... game, right? 
a metal, not at the metal back, not the energy. Yeah, metal would be now because yeah. it's most, most important. Yeah, yeah, you never get the energy back. You also get it all in one lump sum. Okay. When you fully reclaim it, you don't get it over time. So you can let it decay a bit and then reclaim. What? Probably. Uh, yeah, but uh, how it do I say power, this? Right? That you probably won't it takes. Need for, uh, you you could just leave it to decay, and it will give you the metal over time if it's decaying. But if you want to reclaim it, it will have to go through the HP. Which oh. is different than the build timer. So I don't need actually to reclaim those buildings if I No, yeah. if you didn't finish it, you don't need to reclaim it. It will on its yeah. own give you metal back slowly. Unless it gets destroyed. Then you get yeah. no further. That's a good tip. Thank you. Yeah. I mean there is an exploit with blueprints, but I'm not gonna mention it. <laughs> no exploit, please. Ooh. Eight took on <laughs> and bad. I mean it, it's a pretty known exploit, but people don't use it. Uh, hold on, uh, you mean the two cons on the shipyard and two getting no, the resources? I, I mean early on you want uh, two constructors, one going for metal, one going for energy. You don't actually need to boost the shipyard too much in the early game because the shipyard has a lot of build power on its own. Compared yeah, you only really need it once you're making. Power, 165. Uh, it's, it's also that supporters and dolphins are pretty cheap in terms of uh, build power cost. Well, mostly supporters. Yeah, yeah remember that supporters are really cheap. Fair bit of energy reclaim in the middle on the reef. That's something to fight over. Yeah, each of those is a thousand. Uh, where? Where? Yes, where? Except the small where? ones. Where? The small ones are 250 or 500. Yeah, I think uh, coral, coral structures. The giant anemones. Oh, I see. No, no. That's what they're called. No, no. No, 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 no. But yeah, speaking of shark's teeth, this would be a good place for them. Specifically mm -hmm. on the edges. Actually, yeah. You've got a lot of Remember rocks, kind of block shots and random bits of land. If you have mobile units, you should be using them to poke and prod at the enemy's uh, defenses. Right? Finding holes, finding opportunities to harass. Not just stand in front of your uh, maxes. Right? Uh, Delry, I would oh, say you... that uh, you should leave probably those uh, maxes for the land player. Yeah, probably. Yeah, since like, they're you know, not expected to expand outside of that. Or dolphins, your advantage lies in speed, being able to pick your fights. If you're just standing them, S sorry, st standing there, not doing much, you're not using them well. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, give me uh, more uh, supporters. About this. Oof. Since I had one Rem, you should be pink oh. if you're. Uh, I thought the yeah the the torpedo launcher is not as good as LLT. Yeah. Uh, seven, can you repeat? As universal. Yeah, like. Hmm. Like, what is better? Rem, you're talking about energy, someone. And that left me with no build power. And I just got steamrolled. I couldn't put any units uh, out. I mean, depends what your comb was doing as well. Oh, I think because he was get, on also the map. getting metal and stuff. Like, yeah, your comb is really far out from where your opponent would be fighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. If your comb was there, he could have built things like uh, some torpedo launchers or some walls. 
also the, the, the reason walls. you'd want a constructor the, the reason you'd want a constructor to expand metal is if your commander isn't already doing it but in this case your commander expanded uh, towards the metal so you didn't need a con for that oh i see i'd still recommend your commander expand towards the center while your constructor grabs the maxes no mm -hmm. So we have a quiet time. So I will ask, do you know how long the blueprint stays before it starts to decay? 10 seconds? I think it was 8 seconds. 8, okay, thank you. Uh, if you, any of you needs help, make sure to ask for it. Yes. People okay. aren't omnipotent and they can't pay attention to everything. Yeah. Tunnel vision is hell of a drug. Like, Team West should probably be focusing more on their uh, northern, northeastern flank. You're really having a tough time there. I'm only allowed to build ships, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, if you think you, you can, can do, do something with uh, bots on this map, the feel options. free. But Yeah. Right now, just feel free to do whatever. Actually, let's pause now. We forgot again. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, everyone, zoom out. Take a look at the map state. One of the teams should be communicating more about the trouble they're having. Uh, the other team should probably be uh, thinking of how you guys can secure your advantage. What you can be doing right now to, you know, stay ahead. Because you definitely are ahead. It's just a matter of staying ahead. Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, Kyoma, uh, you say you, you're not sure what, what to do. Okay, so you should be adding... So, your enemy is uh, camping out on statics. That should probably mean you should be adding some destroyers. Which I see you're already doing. Great. Uh, and you should also be trying to uh, find holes to poke. I guess you don't really have that much uh, in terms of mobile units, though. Which is a problem of itself. Um, you also have the radar coverage on some uh, interesting developments north of your commander, let's just say. Yeah. Yeah, RAM. I would honestly be going with dolphins in this situation. Subs are not great at hitting supporters. Oh, they in are fact, just too fast and they are uh, too expensive. That's true. And subs, yeah, the subs are way too expensive. And they can miss. I, I, I honestly think it's uh, going subs in this situation, you're gonna be helping the supporters with friendly fire. Yeah. A oh, they can friendly fire too? Sorry? Yeah, yeah. the torpedo oh, misses well. and hits your stuff. Uh, hold on, so which uh, which unit has guided torpedoes? Because I know there is a unit with a guided. Tier 2. Uh, tier two. Oh, okay. I think it's the long range top launcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, now I get it. Uh, yeah. yeah that's and I believe both top bombers idea. and top gunships have guided By tops. We did talk about this at the start of the, of the clinic. You missed this, but I'll be uploading yeah. this to YouTube. I was so I was out shopping. Up. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kyoma, uh, no degans under the water. Uh, by the way, uh, there's a uh, pretty cool trick. If you stand on the shore, 
you can dig an into the water. Yeah, but you have to, you know, stand on an elevation. Uh, okay, does everyone know what what they're doing, what you're supposed to be uh, focusing on right now? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Not really, but I'm in kind of a unique position. Sorry, okay. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not really in a regular position, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, be sneaky. Good, honestly, yes. Definitely. I was going to try to build hovercrafts or something, but it feels rude in a naval map to do that. <laughs> I mean, I no, really you're free to do that in this position. <laughs> you can also just be sneaky. Don't forget, the sub is, the commander is kind of a sub in the water. Also, the commander with micro can 1v1 it to a sub. Easily. Because he can dodge torpedoes. Uh, in that position? Yeah. All right, I think we could impulse now. I think I got my commander stuck. Where? Can you ping? He's stuck on the titles. Yeah, I was <laughs> stuck on the titles. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, wind is probably better than titles here. Uh, can, can you even transport the boat? Yeah, that's true. You, you can't transport the boat, right? No, you cannot. I tried. Yeah. I, I would have suggested King to just get that shipyard in the other water. <laughs> um, well, because you, you can see make in a second why I'm making this. No, no I, I know why I'm making it. I'm just saying that you could make a tier 2 shipyard with that as well. And that would help the rest of your team. Yes, I just don't. Like, my, my commander's over here. And so I need to get this out. Yeah. And then I can start walking Guess, it. Uh, if you were core, you'd have Twitches. Yep. And they could build the shipyard. Well, they could build a gun to build the shipyard. Actually, here, Wait, I need guys, to get this. Remember, reclaim is twice as important, if not more, uh, in the sea than in usual uh, bar games. Just because everything in the sea is so, so expensive. Boom. Well, except for those supporters. So, I really want you to be focusing on, you know, Securing reclaim. <laughs> uh, Sivan, you might want to ask for a constructor. This can verify if we have some spare ones. That would probably be nice. Remember that you need uh, sonars. Uh, to spot uh, commanders under the water. A destroyer will probably wreck a commander if you stay out of, out of its range. An armada uh, sub, well, two armada subs or one cortex sub will also win a one, uh, with, uh, against a commander in the sea. By the way, remember that if you you're, if you have an advantage, if you're not getting pressured, it might be a good idea to cut unit production and tech up. There's a lot of uh, naval maxes on the map and getting... Uh, Get out of here! 
getting even Ooh. a single Ooh. tier 2 uh, constructor is extremely useful. Remember to support those with the uh, naval engineers. Extremely good. Nice, well done. However, remember what I said about, uh, you know, playing conservatively, not taking huge losses in the sea, because the reclaim is extremely uh, important. So, Ian, you traded comms, right? I can't help but notice both Rex are still there. <laughs> Might be tough to actually get that. I mean, the water yeah. does reach there. One could get one. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, try a constructor. Let it try a, a con uh, tier 1 constructor. You should be able to reclaim those. And I you am. do have a couple of AFK ones in your base. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Kyoma, how are you doing? So you've got... A uh, bunch of destroyers, but you don't have any. Uh, you have a single rest sub. You need a fair bit more to keep your destroyers healthy. The Armada uh, destroyer is so, sort of a win condition on its own. It's extremely good. I, I would when massed. I I would recommend you also yeah. res ships instead of reclaim them, especially once yeah. since you're maxed out on metal like this. Yes, 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 yes. Like, legit, 10 rest stops. I would recommend 10 rest stops right now, Kyoma. Yeah. Just because you want that mobile build power. Uh, the skinner of I don't know why you have a tier 2 con following a tier 2 con. I don't know, I probably misclicked. Oh, actually, you could also, just, tra you could also just transport that con. Um, that's yeah. a long walk. I just queued him up. I fully intend to do that. I'm just doing a lot of other things right now. Yeah. I love cruisers. Cruisers are neat. Cruiser has good anti-ship DPS as well. Like, it still got close to 300 DPS against boats. At least the Buccaneer. Yes, it's lasers, but they're good lasers. And they will absolutely wreck subs. Uh, Matt, v, you can probably reclaim your tier 1 lab. Since you're short on, on metal in building that uh, tier 2 lab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, cruisers are, are now in play. These are uh, pretty universal units, like they're decent at dealing with uh, all kinds of tier, uh, tier 1 units, but they can... Uh... How do you actually... They're also pretty good against tier 2. Battleships outrange them. Uh, battleships outrange them, yeah. That's pretty much it. You, dolphin spam technically still wins, but you need to get a good flank with dolphins. Yeah.
Otherwise, probably long range attack subs. Yeah. Long range long attack range subs with a uh, screen of your cell, of your own. Yeah. Yes, uh, OP mana race is a good point. Subs cannot kite. Uh, best tier 2 ship spam would probably yes be cruisers. Cruisers are really strong. Mm, Especially the Cortex I cruiser. Still, I would still not make only cruisers. I would pair them with fast attack subs as raiders. Honestly, I would make them with tier 1 units. Once you have the e economy... I mean that would I mean, require once, rebuilding once, once the tier 1 lab. The, which which is fine. Once you upgrade your maxes, which by the way buttons you're not doing, from what I can see, unless I'm missing something, you should be upgrading those maxes to tier two. Uh, once once you have that, you can absolutely afford a good healthy mix of tier one and tier two units. But like I said, I'm not sure what the optimal strategy is. But yeah, tier 1 shipyard is pretty cheap. And you do want that up late, late in the game, just because rest subs are so good. I can only see use in building supporters and dolphins. Maybe the anti-air option as well from the tier 1 shipyard once you've got tier 2. Uh, tier 1 Cortex submarines are but... still pretty good in, into the late game. I, I would rather just make the tier 2 subs at that point. The tier 2 subs are also really strong. Expensive though. But they're fast. Like, I'm not sure. Which is the big they thing. They are. They're really fast. They are. Um. And if players are going to be spamming cruisers, subs in general aren't going to be used as a fighting force. Unless they're long range subs. Yeah, true. And looks like the game is just gonna end. Yeah, there's one more commander. Hunt the comp. Uh, the King of All, uh, look at your seaplane platform, please. What? Well, I have a. <laughs> what is yeah. what is that? <laughs> Bulbasaur word. found it. Bulbasaur found it. It's all good. Yep. Thank you, Bulbasaur. <laughs> I'm his friend. <sighs> Cracks me up when I find problems with his build. How did I even do that? The best part is uh, the thing with certain buildings that have gaps in them. You can't just accidentally build comp turrets there. This tends to happen a lot with the Cortex Tier Two lab, uh, Tier Three lab. Co yeah, it lets you build it just, there. It's stuck there. <laughs> it lets you build it under there. That's really, really unique. It's because it needs to have that empty space to put units there, right? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Um. All right. So. Okay, I am pretty tired. But I think I would be up to jump in for a game. Uh, Dimitri, Rantis, Opiman, Op Bulbazor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just do a massive, you know? Eight eight? Sure. I'll get my one game every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm trying to play a bit more now. Oh, would we play the same map or different map? Yeah, I'm playing uh, all kinds of... Uh, I oh, would uh, suggest no. uh, Serene Caldera for this one. The big free-for-all map. Balance is a bit weird right now. 
I think. Yeah, that's better. Oh. We still can fit one more. Yeah, OP man. Oh, no more. Okay, as you, that's sure that's fine. <laughs> Glad you like it. Okay, so we will need uh, one more player for Baz. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Oh, I'm already. Yeah. Let's do it. The Skinner and me are sharing boss privileges. <laughs> this is what happens when you have multiple bosses in the same lobby. They get to vote and not anyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Parliament. Okay, I will uh, stop streaming uh, onto Discord now. But, oh, all but, pigs are equal, but some pigs are more equal than others. So now let's just have a chill game. All right. Anything goes? <sighs> I'm just going to uh, build yeah, a nuke. Goes. All right. Let's... Nukes coming up. Realism. Uh, I will just are perfectly cards. viable here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go tier two core vehicles. Oh. Tier two. Karma. <laughs> oh, we should have let's go. The salamander. I mean, would it even do much? It can't shoot while underwater, so. Ah, uh, true, true. This is rigged, me and Perfy are on the same team. They do oh. have uh, the King of All and A1. It's gonna be uh, a pretty tough match. Oh, am I starting in the correct uh, spot? Is it a starting no. spot? Uh, I mean, do you have free maxes available early? I, I would... Kinda. I would move to here. Probably. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is much better spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. There's one more here, probably for Iron. And I apologize for, to the other team that I cannot provide you the same uh, advice right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, so I go this way, I see. I think so. Uh, is there anyone that hasn't spawned? There's a bunch of... Uh, one on our team. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'd probably go... Oh right, the 7v7, not 8v8. Back up there. Seven. Wait, what? Um, yeah. Uh, Sven? Oh, seven. Yeah, yeah. Right up there. Mm-hmm. Probably makes the most sense for keeping the yep. balance. Don't forget there's geos on this map. Yeah. Well, how do you take them? You need to like a blunt. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, an air con, seaplane con. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I thought I, that I, no, no. cons. Naval navy cons can still build geos, but I don't think that's within range. I think it might be within range if you go from the middle side. Maybe. I think the safe bet is still just having an air con do it. So you're probably no. going to want to cover the mid with anti air. Yeah. Also, mid maxes are worth like. Oh, they're just worth 2.5. 2.4. I mean, it's still nice. Remember to not accidentally start your maxes on trees. Yeah, I already did that. Yeah, same, same. Oh well. Oh well, it happens. I already screwed up a bit, whoops. No worries. Not the end of the world. Yep. 
Everything's ruined. <laughs> All over. My day is ruined. My disappointment is immeasurable. Just because it's you, King. It's the only reason why. Only reason. By the way, uh, wind is very good here, and you probably don't need to go solars. I went solars because it was under ten when I was. Yeah, the out. the first. By the time you build your first energy, wind was at like five. So. I guess. Tidal's also pretty good on this map. Am I already lagging? By the way, naval cones can build land maxes. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. Oh yeah, and there is even a range to do that. You see that, King? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You may now be hearing my dog, by the way. Oh, I see. I hear. <laughs> so, uh, is Anemone a uh, good uh, static defense? Uh, it's decent, but it's quite uh, heavy on build power. Oh, so maybe for a commander, yes, but not so much for uh, normal builders. Hmm. I'm sure.
full power. You got that straight, I'll get the back. Incoming to you, all time. Uh, so, what, what should I transition into once I am done with dolphins? You can never really be done with dolphins. Uh. But uh, frigates are pretty good. Aircraft spotted. Thank you. Oh. Metal extractor lost. Transport detected. Not cool. La and Mela. Come in. All right, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Metal extractor lost. Oh, that's way too many riptides. I have no no chance. Mm. What what can I do against frigates, or do I just need more dolphins? Can make more, more dolphins. dolphins. Uh, also, don't don't get kited. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm just flailing like a fish in water. Ah, thank you, my dude. Where was that? Hi, base. No, metal extract. Um, down lower by me. I'm losing metal extractors. Okay. Is that yours or his? His. Okay. Got greens. Coming around in behind. You know we can hear you, right? That's okay. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Metal extractor lost. Hey Skinner. Yep. Can I get a scout oh. down here? Can Whole you just like can here. you just send a pass through that? 
Um, I don't have the yes. time to go do it myself. Yes, yes. Working out. Careful, there's got six, oh, seven, I know. seven cruisers there. Here, group up with, group up over here. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna go up here and uh, yeah, you can you can I'll handle that. It. I'm gonna go take yeah, care I of got this over here. You received new units. Got him coming in. Can you can you get us hard pushed up by chance? Lost a radar somewhere. That was probably top. Worth it. I do not have enough energy. I'm running into right now. Energy. Okay. I imagine you guys should be able to push. Yeah, I just decided to be cheeky. Nice. Have this all group up here. So, so basically, what's happening here is that Team West has demonstrated very good usage of both uh, cruisers, a good amount of uh, assault frigates for harassment and uh, poking down bases, and also torpedo bombers. Those are extremely good. Also, the one thing is, is um, your ar I've seen multiple armies keep being out of position, which lets me just kind of roll in. I mean, I didn't have enough to deal with the riptide, so I just go got uh, folded. Like Purple's yeah. army here is way out of position, and so I'm just able to just scroll stroll right in to his base. I wouldn't count that as just strolling right in. But yeah. I would. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's going to be a stop to me just rolling into his base here. By the Bro. way, uh, Dimitri, I think you I mean, the entire naval, pin, pin, I mean, naval pinpointer uh, when you meant uh, like a defensive turret. I meant to build oh, yeah. the sonar. 
<laughs> Don't happen to me all the time. There's a battleship out of position here. Uh, no one really to get it. Never mind. Yeah. I got my flagship coming up there. Good game, everyone. Yeah. Oh, they you resigned here. Yeah. I tried. Right. Yeah. No. You got no. bullying new people in the water. <laughs> I, I kept yes. running out and then I did Well, constantly. I mean, the other way is it's good to look at, like, King of All's build and kind of take, take a look and see after this game to see, like, what he did differently. Ah, uh, inflated. Inflated. Bad yeah. player. Kill. I mean, this wasn't a noob lobby. There's nothing in the title that says it's a noob lobby. Oh, it's just because everyone's still in the Academy channel. I was wondering if you guys are, like, just farming all the people who have come to learn. <laughs> no, I mean, this was yeah. an Academy game. Just, all the harvest is good this time of year. I was straight up against Fetri. Hey, what's the password? Uh, I think we're done. Uh, keep foot to uh, yeah, I think it's over. No, nah, fair enough. Yeah. I do have to get going. Alright. But, uh, thanks everyone. I uh, hope this was fun for everyone. Very much so. And helpful. I will want I'm to awesome. uh, go through this replay and analyze a couple of your builds, Ooh. though. Because there's a yeah. bunch of stuff in there that I want to steal. Oh yeah, and it wasn't a hundred percent efficient, but there's a lot of just kind of little things that I like to do. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I got um, light teal. I, I I got really greedy at one point because I knew Bulbasaur was kind of holding you down, Perfy, and whoever was light teal, mm -hmm. I uh I I got a cheeky sub in really early, and I just I kind of decimated them, and it uh. It set yeah. them back enough that I knew they would be re I could just kind of do whatever I wanted because my opponent's now stuck in a big rebuild without any resources. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought Perfy was your main. Like that. Uh, no, Perfy was the one. I ended up mainly fighting Perfy, but that oh, was gotcha. it was, was that wasn't actually my original opponent. Oh. I crippled my yeah. original Got opponent you. very early Got and then sent in like fifteen yeah. dollars. Yeah, because he had sent, Perfy sent over a bunch of. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I got your saying. Yeah. I ended up fighting Perfy, but that was because I already took. We were effectively up a player from the yeah. beginning. I didn't even realize. Yeah. I didn't even realize you sniped the light, uh, light green or teal, or whatever it is. Light teal. Well, I didn't get sniped as badly. There were so many medals on that because we were down a player. I was like having so much fun taking all the medal spots. I was like, oh, this is fun. Oh, another medal. Oh, I can pump out an extra frigate, like a, a couple, like yeah, a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so many. <laughs> I was having way too much fun city building. Yeah, I, I, I realized I was at like two hundred medal a second. I was like, two hundred medal a second is just the way. I'm like, okay, I need to switch to tier two here. Yeah, I can't spend this all. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too much reclaim. Yeah, but that cheeky.